Hi friend, it's Pat Sloan here with my daily video. Thank you so much for sharing in my immense joy for getting 50,000 friends here at my YouTube community. I am so thrilled that you are as happy for me as I am. It's like it's been a long time that I've been on YouTube since almost since it started. So I'm just thrilled that so many of you enjoy the type of videos that I do, which are very chatty, very life oriented. You know, what is going on in our lives? What do we do? And it's, you know, it's quilting, but it's, we have more than, than just quilting in our life. So that is what I just want to talk to you as I would talk to my friends, you know, locally who would come and sit with me. So you come and sit with me and we just, we just chat, you know, we just have whatever's going on and I'm thrilled. I appreciate so much that you are here and that so many of you were as, as excited for me as, as I was. <laughs> it's kind of makes you, it's kind of silly excitement, but you know, yeah, it's a big number. Numbers are fun. It's, it's awesome to hit milestones, whatever they are. And, and we all have that feeling. You hit some sort of milestone and it's like, yes. <laughs> so today is word of the day. Word, I'm sorry, word of the month, uh, word of the day. Oh my gosh, I could not do that. Huh? <laughs> word of the month or the year. Today is the day I'm talking about it for this month. Okay, there we go. Got it all in. Uh, so my word of the year is do. And, you know, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, I looked at it and I was like, really? I don't feel like talking about that today. I don't. But it's on the calendar. And I promised myself I would do it every month. I would talk about it once, if just at least once. I would have like a major, like what am I gonna do with that word this month? Uh, and so that is today. And I even wrote about it, which I also felt like putting off. I was like, I don't feel like writing about that today. But I did, so you can go down below. Do is my word of the month. And what happened a few days ago is that I decided to push off a big project because I have a big project to do to do <laughs> my documentation of my quilts that of course I thought I sh you know, should have done it since the beginning of time but I didn't so now I'm stuck at the end here of uh, the, I'm stuck today with all of these you know quilts that need to be photographed and sort of organized and documented and you know it'd be lovely to say oh yes I'll do five this week or something like that. But honestly, my brain does not work like that. My brain does not want to do that. My brain wants to get all of them, and I've done this once before, but I just didn't document them well, is I pull them all out, sort them by books, magazines, other, and then do the photos, do the documentation, done. And so I figured it's probably about a two week project at most. It probably wouldn't even take two weeks. Um, but. I have to decide when I want to do that. And I decided to give myself some grace, which is going to be my underlying word for February is grace. Do with grace or experience with grace. So what I decided to do was move that project indefinitely. I don't know when I'll do it. It might be later this year. It might be next year. I'm not at a critical stage where like, I still have room to put quilts and, and so I don't have to do this. But I, it was hanging over me like, like this cloud. Every time that I would try to have a little downtime, do a little something different, my brain would say, but you need to document those quilts. What are you doing? You shouldn't be doing this. You need to go document the quilts. So I don't know how many of you have this voice in your head that does that, but if you do, um, maybe this month you want to find that part today, find that project that is doing that to you and make a decision on it. So my decision was to put it off. There, it's gone. Now it's not on my list anymore. And I will give myself some grace in February to just uh, relax in my downtime and not feel like I have to go and do work projects every time that I have a few minutes or a couple hours where I, you know, I've finished what I needed to do. So now let me go do something fun instead. So that is what I'm going to focus on for February, which is kind of a weird thing, but for me, it's not. I mean, I work a lot. And so deciding that in February, I will do the necessary, I will do the work, but then when it, then I will not add more. I will not add anything else 
uh, for February. So it's like, oh, hyperventilating, you know, I'm like I could get ahead, but there's always work. There's always something else. So today, look at your word for the year. If you have one or your motto, or whatever you're doing uh, and focus in on it. I ordered a little journal from Allie Edwards because she does one little word and I'm taking that class. I'll link you below. And so I ordered the journal because I didn't order it in December. I couldn't think that far through that I would maybe want to write about this in a paper journal and follow her sort of you know process a bit. And I finally decided like two days ago <laughs> that yes, I will. I want to do that. So I ordered a little bit of stuff. So that'll be interesting and I'll write because I don't do paper things that much. So it'll be kind of fun to have something different, a little bit of different art to play around with. I can glue some fabric in there <laughs> or sew it into the pages. <laughs> I don't know what I do. I'll feel it'll be fun. It'll be different. So we also want to be sure in February that we're having our, our thinking about the cozy things we want to do. The home is, is always going to bring in our word. Um, but you know, this is our life and, and our life is more than just quilting. Uh, so I want you to be able to look around to your whole sphere of things that you do and just be sure that you are, uh, fulfilling yourself, you know, doing, filling your soul, you know, and being sure you're getting in what you need to get in this month because February can be difficult. We, if, if you're in the winter months, like, like I am, you know, you feel really stuck after a while and, and I find February can be a hard month. So we're in this together. We can do it. Okay. I got some cool things. I, I did the wave, doing the wave, doing the wave on my Ellie's. So I've got a section done here. Uh, and I'm thrilled because it did, it was exactly what I needed about, you know, 930 at night. I can do that for an hour. Uh, and so I can do that every night for an hour and in a couple of days the quilting will be done on this if I happen to do it a little bit longer but you know it's a little boring after an hour you know but late at night that's not boring I can listen to something and then just sort of run this through and get the quilting done on it so I am super excited that's my wave stitch the wave it's just maybe called a serpentine on your machine the other thing is I found I found I didn't find it I saw it <laughs> I found it like it's like in my garden. No, uh, I <laughs> so my friend Cindy, who owns Riley Blake Fabrics, uh, designed this really nifty. Uh, I can't find the, what am I, a seam ripper. I can't find the word. A okay, seam ripper. Let me show you the back here. What she's got on the diagram. So you can hold it uh, two different ways, and the part that I really like is that you can you wear it uh, so here it is on my finger so here is here's what it looks like so it's got a loop that goes on your finger and then she's got the bottom side flat so it fits fits your thumb really nicely and if you wear it the other way right at that edge there is also a smooth spot so when you take the the cover off and there's what there's what it looks like there you go. See it? Okay. So let's just come down here a minute. I've got, I've got something that I can rip apart. So generally, generally when I am, uh, let's see, whoops, let me just get this to come in here. All right. So generally when I like to do a lot of seam ripping is that I will, uh, is I will, you know, do the I, this this uh, here this side I can see it. I will do the threads and just snip them. You know, just go like this, pull. You know, just go along one, two, three like this. And so now I've just got this on my finger. And if I want to pick it up, I don't have to lay it. I don't have to lay it down. You know, and then pick it up. As I'm doing this, I just snip along, and then I would come and open the seam. You know, and pop pop it open like that. So I like to pull a bunch, but if you also like to do it from the inside, you know, have the, the fabric separated like this, 
you can go along and pop them really easily by holding this. And as you are finished, you never have to lay it down. That's what's so cool. It just stays right on your finger like this. Now she also has a video, so I will link you below so you can go watch her video. And I'll link you to where you can buy this over at the Fat Quarter Shop. So very cool, Cindy Seam Ripper. It's very neat. I love when people are creative. I'm not a person who creates uh, new tools. You know, it's just not the way my brain works. So I appreciate all those people who are out there making new tools and thinking up creative ways to do things. Uh, then we can enjoy it, right? <laughs> so my friend, if you wanna read a little bit more about my word of the year, or maybe this was enough, <laughs> you can go over to my website, Come join me at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan, my community. Links are below. I love you. Mwah. See you online.